No, it's okay. From when it's, it's his opinion, and uh, I, I accept. Um, in my opinion, um, I haven't I haven't seen all the matches of Porto to be honest, um, but I saw us playing, and I think we played very well. And like I said um, before uh, on the press conference before the match, in my opinion. The team who has at the end, after 34 match days, the most points, and if this team also scored the most goals and conceded the, the at least goals, I think then um, they deserve to become champion. And um, in this role is, is Benfica. So it's not like we want to become champion with 20 points ahead. So we want to become champion. Doesn't matter with one point, with goal difference. We have 87 points. I think the record of Benfica is 88. So we were very close to the almost the best season of Benfica. Uh, uh, ever. Maybe the, the, the worst phase of this season for us, the first worst two weeks. So I think we played uh, reliable on a very high level, in my opinion, with n not a lot of up and downs, so we stayed on, on, on top level. In these two weeks, we were not on top level. We were not that dominant, not uh, that good in controlling the game and in defending like we have been before. And uh, in these matches, so the, the, the opponents, they were very efficient. But I think what, I, what we did then to change the momentum again was very important for the rest of the season. All the other uh, matches, most of them we, we won against top, top teams. So it's not, in my opinion, it's not a disappointment uh, that, we, that we stepped out of Champions League so in the, in the quarterfinals. So I think it was a big achievement of the players. In my opinion, how Benfica played this season international um, was Amazing.